what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is isaac insights thank you so much for your continuous support kindly continue supporting me kindly continue subscribing and guys today i'm here to give you a story i want to introduce one man who changed my story by the way he changed my story from grass to grass and uh, in one way or another also i convinced him and told him hey sir to make in Nairobi sana to Rudi Nyumbani and he came home he is doing farming and I'm proud of him I'm in his farm as we speak these are sweet potatoes then he has uh, arrow roots there also I will be showing you around he will talk to you he will tell you what he is doing his, uh, his sweet potatoes are, lo are, are almost ready and I just hope People will reach out, those who can buy them, so that they can buy them. We promote each other each and every day. As I have told you, he changed my story. Uh, he's one person I always say that he, he lit my candle. He lit my candle. That is, when my candle was not uh, lighting, he stood with me and changed my story completely. So, uh, today we are in his farm. Let's see what he's doing so that he can inspire someone and also for for those who, who wants these sweet potatoes you can reach out probably i know most of you will reach out he's selling it at affordable price you can buy them for your family even if you are abroad you can decide hey i need uh, this uh, like 10 sacks of potato then you give them to your parents or your relatives whom you want to support. Now Anze Kuwuza, it's also a good venture. So let's talk to him and see. Let so guys, this is his farm. These are just sweet potatoes. I'm working in his farm. I think he will introduce himself and tell you what he can offer, what he's doing here. It's a good project. When you look after these sweet potatoes, there are arrow roots. <laughs> he will also, but arrow roots are not, are not yet ready. We will go with this one for now. I know, let him tell us about this farm. So guys, the, the man himself is here. I would like him to introduce himself. He's doing a great work, by the way. Let him introduce and then he shows us around what he's doing here so that he can inspire youth somewhere so that we can also uh, tell people that if you want these products, they are here. You can uh, call on us and uh, probably we'll deliver it. I know him in person. As I've told you earlier, he's one, of the, he's one man who changed my life, by the way, from grass to grass. When I was down, he lifted me and I'm where I am today because of him. So kindly introduce yourself. Uh, hello, guys. My name is Rogers. As you have seen, I'm in my small chamber uh -huh. trying to make some ends meet. Yes. Maybe for just some background. We've been friends with Isaac for some time now, a couple of years, more than five years. We knew each other, with each other from Nairobi. Uh, we have been doing some other stuff together. Well, in Nairobi, but life pushed pushed at some limits, and we decided to go and try life outside. Yes, outside Nairobi. Outside of Nairobi, particularly in Kakamega. In fact, you need to tell people this, eh? Mm -hmm. That uh, you are the man who lit my candle when it was <laughs> like it was dim. To me, by the way, I need to appreciate that. Uh, you lifted me from grass to grass. I was nobody before I met him, but he changed me. But also when I decided that I want to go home and uh, do my own things at home, Ushago. He also saw what I was aiming at and he said, hey Isaac, I'm following you. And today as we speak, we have been here for two years, right? Yes. Yes, for me I came in 20, 2021 and he followed me just some months later because we always collaborate almost in everything. And today, he's doing good, by the way. He's a good farmer, he's a great farmer. As you can see, he's holding a very big sweet potato. 
I want us, I want you to show us your farm so that people can also see and uh, also get to know what you are doing. And also, maybe before we go around the farm, just tell people how they can reach out to you for those who need advice about farming, for those who need, who wants these sweet potatoes, and tell them which uh, uh, amount of sweet potatoes you can sell, you can uh, sell to them. That is, in terms of transporting, ensuring that they get their delivery. Uh, maybe I would like to share more information about my life. Mm -hmm. When I decided to follow my great friend from town mm -hmm. and come home, I couldn't just sit down or idle just because I'm from the town. Mm -hmm. I decided to embrace the village life. Village as life. You can see. Uh, as you can see, it's just... Uh... It's, quite, it's quite interesting if you just accept and to make, make your mind that you you want to live your life. Mm. Sport is stressful. There's more, many more adventures, and one of my smallest adventures I have impressed since I, I left town is to do some agriculture. You know, they normally say agriculture, agriculture is the, the future of everything. Yes. I, I do agriculture not just because to, to feed my family but to contribute to, if you have ever come across sustainable develop, develop, development goals, I sat down and decided that I could do something that could also contribute to, to the global goals other than my smaller goals of putting food into my onto the table. Yes. So I do some different kinds of farming. Mm. At here, right, right now, this is a small portion of my sweet potato farm. As you have seen, you can see it's already mature. They are ready. They are ready. Mature. The sweet potatoes are ready. You are can ready. see. You can see around. Yes. So, if you can support me, you can reach me on my official number. Zero seven zero three nine three seven four forty. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. Zero seven zero three nine three seven four forty. And maybe just to add some weight. Agriculture is an interesting venture. It's a stress-free, it's an ad adventurous thing. Maybe something many youths usually shy away from, but. On my side, or from my ex the little experience I've garnered so far, I think it's high time we young people start embracing agriculture because most of the time we we associate it with our grannies and our grandfathers and those poor guys at home. But I can tell you, if we try something like that, just on top of putting food on the table, we can support. Even if it's our local community, we can do something to to create to create food support even more up beyond the village. Maybe if I can ask you a question, yes. maybe someone is somewhere asking himself, "Hey, you are talking about agri agriculture, and I don't have a land." Yes. Maybe this is a practical thing that you are doing. As people can see, this is just a small farm. Tell us the size of this farm, maybe. Let's walk around so that people can see also. Yeah. This is just a small uh, land. Uh, uh, maybe let me ask you, what is the size of this land? Uh, that, this piece of land is relatively small, just uh, about... I don't know, a tenth. Almost a tenth of an acre. It's very, uh, the, very, this, small, very small plot. This is just like uh, 50 by 100, but in Ashinda Kidog. Yeah. And something something interesting about it, mm. no, it's not my land. Okay, you list it. Yeah, okay. it's my land. You know, nowadays, land is everything. Now, also, I have another question. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, we are in this farm. People can see we have sweet potatoes here. 
you have even arrow roots let me zoom them people can see them yes here they are and i think um, from my perspective and what i know about agriculture you are a silent millionaire because i know what you can get here just this small farm uh, maybe let's estimate how many sacks can you get from this land here the the plot that we are in uh... The, the, I, I was fortunate to find this place, uh, virgin land. Okay. Virgin land means it had taken some time before it was cultivated, so it was quite fertile. Mm. And from my approximation, I'm hoping if things goes well, mm. I may get between 15 or 20 sacks, the 90, the 90 kg sacks of. 15 or 20, 20. 15 or 20, 20. sacks are uh, that's in between yeah. between 15 and 20 sacks yeah. and maybe according to you or what is then what you know about the market how much will you be selling for one sack because now this your farm you have the product they are ready maybe let me let me show people let let let, let people see the the sweet potato that is the size of the potatoes though we must also tell people that when you, someone orders those potatoes, yeah. the responsibility will get uh, somehow small size yeah. from that one, yeah. but majority of them they are this size. Yeah. So for one sack, how much are you going to sell your potatoes? Uh, so that we can also help someone, mm. that one who wants to order like five sacks, uh, but for those who are in Kakamega, if you can reach out and you, have, uh, you want one sack, I think you can give them. Yeah, yeah. Yes, for those who are in Kakamega, because delivery is easier in Kakamega. So tell us, how much are you likely to sell your uh, sweet potatoes? That's per sack. Uh, locally, mm. sweet potatoes are sold in two quantities. Mm -hmm. there, there is the 50 kg sack. Mm -hmm. It goes around 1,500 to... 2,500, depending on the logistics. Mm. Maybe I can share some further information on that. Mm -hmm. Harvesting sweet potato is also a process. Mm. First, you have to approach them. Like, give if I get a, a larger order, mm. I'll need some a couple of more hands to mm -hmm. help me. Yeah, exactly. Because as much as this land may seem to be small, it it has a lot of yeah. sweet potatoes. So I might I, I I will have to get some more hands, like two or three guys, to help me put them, pack them. Maybe if a customer wants to them to be washed, because clans have different requirements. There are those ones who prefer them, who will ask you to wash them before you take to them. There are those ones who want them just like they get they will get got, get them from the farm. Another another logistic issue that is involved in the harvesting is the the, the aspect of transport. Mm -hmm. Transport. There are those ones. Maybe for example, I'm now I'm at Kusero. Yes. Maybe I got an order from Mumia, Mombasa. Mumia, Mombasa. Or, mm. There are those who will ask you to deliver the the product the product to the next to their doorstep mm. and there are those one who will incur the cost to pick them product from the farm or mm. from my home mm. so when you are when i'm I, I, i'm computing the price it will depend with the requirement of the of the client mm. yeah. so good people and uh, the second quantity by the way you talked sorry, about sorry, first sorry, quantity sorry. i talked about the first quantity which was the 50 50 kg, 50 kg. Now, sack. Sack, sack. Mm. now we have the the larger one the 90 kg sack. Mm. the one they used to sell the maize for normally maize mm. that one goes around 3000 4000 also depending on the logistics okay yeah. so good people and now let me ask you this question afresh because i asked it earlier in our conversation now let's say the 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 total quantity you are expecting here you said around 50, between 15 yeah. to 20, 20. Uh, 15 to 20. 15 to 20 sacks, it means that uh, 
uh, if you are selling your bag at $30, let's put it at $30, and then you get like, uh, let's say 20, so that it becomes easier to calculate. So good people, you can imagine, that is, you will get around $600 here. And maybe let's ask you a, a question also, so that our viewers can also learn something. Uh, how long does how long does uh, sweet potatoes take to be to to be mature? That's an interesting question. Okay. Sweet, the, we have two two varieties of sweet potatoes. Mm. The local variety it matures around six months. Mm -hmm. But now now nowadays the I don't know the government is trying to do some research. Mm. They have introduced the three months. Or oh, three months. Three months. Three so months. the the usual, usual, the usual uh, period is always six months. But six months. Even with the three months, mm. we are still pessimistic because when the three months elapse, you may when you try to find out if your farm is ready, mm. you may find that some potatoes are still not mature. Yeah, they are so not mature. Ma the majority of, of the majority of farmers mm. i'm talking about my context mm. we normally okay. wait for six months yes yeah. okay that's good idea so good people you can see uh, within uh, let's say six months with this small plot here he can harvest he can harvest around 600 dollars which is not little amount of money considering the size so good people you can see the the venture the place is good and the I can call you a silent millionaire by the way because I have seen you at different lands where you have these sweet potatoes and if anyone want on a large uh, on a large order don't be afraid there are sweet potatoes this is just one of the lands you can see even his uh, arrow roots but they are not yet ready so please don't call <laughs> don't call uh, don't call to make an order on arrow roots. They are still young. But once they will be ready also, probably I will be here to tell you, to show you that uh, you can actually get them. I can see even uh, if I happen to zoom, you have some cassavas on the other line also. I think youth need to wake up and uh, do what other youth are doing. In Gekua, Nairobi, you can see his it was in Gekua. So what's your message to my viewers and uh, maybe also remind them your number so that uh, they can reach out for those who want sweet potatoes. And let me also tell people this. You can call on him and ask him for the price, then you agree. Probably you deliver. He's one person I know. He's honest. I've told you I have long history with him. He's the person who lit my candle when it was not... Uh, when it was not shining and today i am one of the people by the way he saw my potential and he told me by the way i remember your first words you said that hey isaac you have a lot of brains you need to put them on use and that that word a lot i i just confirmed to him hey then what can i do to to put my brains on work he explained everything and today i'm where i am even most people always ask me hey how did you become successful? Then this is the man who made me successful. So you can call on him, even if you are abroad, this is a good idea, by the way. You can organize just at home and tell you, uh, let's say you have your relatives in Nairobi that you feel like you want to support them. Maybe you have even friends. Maybe you have seen a widow somewhere and you feel you want to bless them. You can call on him, just ask him for uh, four sacks, uh, five sacks, he will organize, we will organize, by the way, I'm also there, you call on me, you call on him, anytime, we will organize, they get the product, and they can sell them, because if you take such sweet potato in Nairobi, this one, the one is holding, probably three of them will be over 100 shillings, right? It will be over 100 shillings. So if you have a relative in Nairobi that you feel you can support, and you are abroad, this is something that we can plan and also we explain to the other person what she, she can do, he or she can do to get money out of this. Utaku manzishia mutu biashara and just the way 
he, he, he took me from grass to grass. You can also do the same to someone else. Let him give us his contact and also last word so that we can end the video. Yeah, I think you will remind me. Okay. Maybe just wrap, wrap up my, my adventure mm. in farming. Maybe it will just be a wake up call to my fellow youth. Mm -hmm. I think this this is information is more relevant to to my fellow youth because there is a time I sit down I sat down just reflected on my on my life experience when I when I was staying in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Then I, I came to the conclusion that it is more fulfilling mm -hmm. to make so, something small at home mm. than in the city. Very true. Another thing I will share with my fellow youth. Farming has some, even though at a small scale, because because of so farming has its share of limitations. Maybe it's land, my land, land, land is the main, which is the main obstacle. Mm. But if you have the right information, mm. you can make ends meet. From farming. Oh, yeah, from farming. Mm. So instead of just idling around, doing your funny things that doesn't add any value to your life, mm. welcome to the to the journey. And I feel yeah. you can even tell them about. I think you can also just give them a hint. You are doing a, what do you call it? A animal farming. Yeah. When I when I, when I, I came back home. Expenses are across board. Mm. Whether they are staying in the town or in the village. Exactly, so exactly. So you find something like milk, mm. vegetables, fruits, whatever. Mm. They they still require money. Mm. Very so true. my my strategy to overcome or to just reduce the expense at home. Mm. That's where the idea of farming came in. Okay. So just apart from sweet potatoes, I have other roots. Locally known Duma, mm -hmm. commonly known as Duma. I have mm -hmm. cassava. Mm -hmm. I do maize. Maize, I know. Maize. In large uh, land, uh, so maize is just a, a step of a, a step of food. Yeah. I have, I have some dairy cow, cow mm -hmm. One is milking. <coughs> so at least I've been in this thing for the last one year, mm. and then I can assure you, <coughs> since I started, I've, I've never bought. A, a glass of milk. I produce my own milk. So he produces his own milk. He get uh, manure, manure from it, and I uh, I can show this manure here. Uh, he, this is what he has prepared for now, and uh, also the I think we also utilize the urine from those uh, from yeah, those cows, right? Good fertilizer and too. Yes. Yeah. So you use urine from cows. Also, it gives you that. Uh, uh, fertilizer and insecticide so you apply them on your farm you are okay to go yeah so on top of what i create for my small family to to sustain them mm. the the surplus like now, now honestly i cannot take consume the, the entire farm of sweet potatoes of sweet potatoes and it's not this one alone yeah, it's not this you one have alone. different farms i have a couple of farms ready mm. Maybe the only risk, the, the, the imminent risk is the rain. I, I'm not, it, it's not supposed to rain when I've, I've, the, the potatoes are still inside. Hey, like uh, they are now. Okay. So yes. next, early next month, the, it will start raining heavily. And when uh, it, get, it gets my product down the soil, it will, it will be total loss. So people need to start calling even yeah. today, even now as we speak. So give them, the, give them your number. <laughs> so My that uh, whoever wants can call in. I have said you can support your family. You can support your family member to start a business of selling uh, sweet potatoes by just little amount of money. Then they are good to go. So your number? Uh, my number is zero seven zero three nine three seven four forty. I will also add that number in description box, but. Let me say, good people, thank you so much. These are also a very great opportunity for me. 
I have shown you what my mentor is doing. By the way, he is my mentor, as I said. He is the one who changed my life. And today, I am his role model. <laughs> because when I told him, hey sir, let's go home, he had my call. We came home. He has built a bungalow, by the way. Uh, I wish he gives me the house tour, <laughs> but I'm not sure if we can. But he has built a bungalow in the village. And we have walked this journey with him. All these things, those are ideas we always put together as friends. And you can see the results. Let me say thank you. Mungu wa barike sana. So guys, we are at his home. I told you this man changed my life. And I can't take it for granted. And even after coming here, I still feel he is still changing my life because he is really hardworking. You can see he's behind me. And I've cut a nyasi mwye mwenyewe kwa sababu kula na msaidia kazi ako chini kidogo. So he has to do it by himself. So good people, I also want to show you something. He always keeps his uh, cows here. He has a number of cows, though they are not in for now. He has taken them somewhere else. And good people, I tell you, being at home is beautiful. What he's doing is really great. It's very great. Let me give you a, a tour of this place so that you can see even the manure that I said that this is what he gets from animals. And he, can, he always use them as uh, instead of going and buying fertilizers, he just use his own manure. And this one are fertile even than the fertilizer that we always buy. So, come with me. He is here in person, by the way. He is trying to prepare some, some napier for his cow so that when they come in, they just take water and have something to eat. You can see the napier. Nanakata i nyasi ye mwenyewe. But now he's a millionaire. Hey, hey. I'm just wondering. So, good people, you can see. This is manure, as you can see. This is the manure he has prepared for some days. Yeah. You can see the manure here. Nemingi. And I know even others will ask to buy. <laughs> Hey, now, he told me this, by the way. This is pure cow dung, by the way. Nani mingi, siki dogo, as you can see. This one, he can get even three lorries here. Just this small one. Because mvue kinyasha in a rudi chini. Aya, this is also another manure, bado. Another manure. That one is manure. Yeah. Anaweka hapo ina, ina, ina oza then inakuwa manure. Na... I think people can learn from this. It's not easy. And mambo yake sasa, hata wale watakuja kununua hizo viazi, wale wataitisha viazi. Hizi si viazi za nini? Zile what tunaita this are organic, right? So for those who will be buying those uh, sweet potatoes, they are organic. You can see how they are prepared. Hii shamba ikisha limwa inayekuwa ndani wanachanganya vizuri na udongo deni anapanda. Mwisho wa siku anapata, anapata viazi kama hizi mmeona kwa hii video yote. Na hii ni nyasi anaendelea kutengenezea ngombe hapa. This is his mansion na anaishi village by the way. He lives in this village. Uh, oh, bungalow. It's called bungalow, not mansion. He is here himself. Anajaribu kutengenezea ngombe chakula. Eh. Hebu salimia watu bwana. Unajua wamekuona ukiwa huko huko shambani. Kazi inaendelea bwana. Eh. Ile maisha ya village. Maisha ya village lakini mzuri sana kwa sababu unapata manyu hapa. Kila kitu. Eh. Unapanda hii ni ngombe ametengenezea nyumba ya ngombe kila ngombe. Hii kila mmoja ina host ngombe mbili ama moja. Oh, hizi ni za ngombe moja moja. So good people for those who know Wanajua, this is a very great investment. Na ini manu watu ataichukua bado, atengeneza weke huko inje. Namacha inaendelea. So, his number is here. He's running on your, scre on your screen. Conti you can call him. He can advise you in one way or another. Na pia vizuri, 
ile tu fever ningependa watu wangu mnefanyie even if you are outside the country unaweza itisha guni hata mbili useme hey, hii guni yapelekea mama aenda aanze kuuza auzie watu na apate profit ndani so kufikia hapa nisema sandeni mungu awabariki sana